Hello audience, my name is Mary the First wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Mary would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. One, ABC, CNN and National Geographic among top winners at 2024 News Emmys at the 2024 News and Documentary Emmy Awards, CNN, ABC, and National Geographic were the top winners. ABC World News Tonight with David Muir won for Outstanding Live News Program, while CNN's The Whole Story with Anderson Cooper took home the award for Outstanding Recorded News Program. CNN secured a total of 10 wins, ABC had 8, including 3 credited to Hulu, and National Geographic won 5 awards. Additionally, AJ Plus reports its Bison from Gaza and I'm Still Alive won for Outstanding Hard News Feature Story, Short Form. Despite controversy surrounding the journalists' ties to a group labeled as a terrorist organization by the USNATAS CEO Adam Sharp defended the nomination amidst the criticism. 2. Bridgerton Ball, experience in Detroit being called a scam, and complete chaos, a Bridgerton Ball in Michigan, intended to immerse fans in a Regency-era experience. Turned out to be poorly organized and disappointing. Attendees reported a lack of sophistication, with some sitting on the floor while vendors sold snacks like Kit Kats and a stripper performed as entertainment. The event has been likened to the controversial Willy Wonka experience from earlier this year. It was clarified that the ball was not an official Netflix event, despite the show's popularity. 3. Adam Sandler shares update on Happy Gilmore 2 feet shoot with photo of his biggest fan Adam Sandler provided an update on the filming of Happy Gilmore 2 inches via Instagram, sharing a photo of his bulldog. Bagel, resting on the script. The post indicated that the project is progressing well. The sequel, directed by Kyle Nuichek, will feature Margaret Qualley, Bad Bunny and returning cast members Julie Bowen and Christopher McDonald, with Travis Kelsey making a cameo. The original, Happy Gilmore, which follows an unlikely golfer, was released in February, 4. Box Office Preview The Wild Robot, Megalopolis, and pro-Donald Trump doc all hit the This Weekend's box office features a mix of films. Highlighted by DreamWorks Animation and Universal's family movie, The Wild Robot. Based on Peter Brown's popular book, the film follows a robot named Roz who forms a bond with an orphaned gosling and other animals after being stranded on an island. The film is projected to open domestically in the $24 million range. With some optimistic forecasts suggesting it could exceed $30 million. However, the filmmakers are managing expectations, especially after last weekend's Transformers 1 underperformed. 5. Gene Smart can't get a word in for SNL 50th season premiere promo in a promo for the season 50 premiere of Saturday Night Live, Gene Smart, who will host the episode, humorously struggles to speak as she is interrupted by nostalgic clips from the show's early seasons featuring iconic hosts like Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin. As she attempts to express her thoughts, the flashbacks cut her off, leading to fragmented sentences. The promo highlights the show's legacy with the tagline, 50 years of hosts, 50 years of laughs, 50 years of memories. Six. 
Rebel Ridge star Anna Sophia Robb breaks down the challenging journey to the top Anna Sophia Robb, star of Rebel Ridge, reflects on the film's tumultuous production journey, which faced multiple delays before wrapping in 2022. The thriller, now streaming on Netflix, has quickly climbed to the top of various charts. It follows characters Terry Richmond, played by Aaron Pierre and Summer McBride, portrayed by Rob, as they confront a corrupt police department in Louisiana. The film's production was initially halted by the pandemic in 2020, but it has since received critical acclaim. 7. Halle Berry talks most haunting, never let go, scene and potential, John Wick spin-off. We need to do it sooner than later, Halle Berry reflects on her diverse acting roles since winning an Oscar for Monsters Ball, stating that as a black woman, she has not had the opportunity to focus solely on Oscar-worthy performances. She recently attended the world premiere of Never Let Go, where she compared the script to her experience with the screenplay for A Quiet Place. 8. Jean Smart can't get a word in for SNL 50th season premiere promo in a promo for the season 50 premiere of Saturday Night Live, Jean Smart, who will host the episode. Humorously struggles to speak as she is interrupted by nostalgic clips from the show's early seasons featuring iconic hosts like Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin. As she attempts to express her thoughts, the flashbacks cut her off, leading to fragmented sentences. The promo highlights the show's rich history, celebrating 50 years of hosts, laughs and memories. 9. How American Sports Story Navigates Those Complicated NFL Variables Producers Nina Jacobson and Brad Simpson discussed their decision not to include Tom Brady as a character in FX's American Sports. Story. Aaron Hernandez, citing a lack of support from the football establishment. This led them to film in a stadium in Orlando that is not affiliated with any franchise. The series focuses on the tragic downfall of Aaron Hernandez, who, after a successful NFL career, was convicted of murder in 2015 and later died by suicide in prison in 2017. 10. Robocop TV series inches closer to reality at Amazon Amazon Prime Video is moving forward with a new Robocop series, having secured key producers for the project. James Wan and his Atomic Monster team will executive produce alongside Michael Clear and Rob Hackett. Peter Ako, known for his work on Lodge 49 and The Office, will also serve as writer and showrunner. The series will be produced by Amazon MGM Studios.